there, bro. You, you forgot the drill, bro. Did you get those 412s like tight? Yeah, like yeah. tight, tight? Yeah. All right, nice. And look, there's a socket right here, too. What the hell's going on here? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, that needle nose? What the fuck? Welcome back to the garage, guys. You know in the last video, we got that new uh, cable to hydro conversion installed from Hush Performance, but um, I kind of went around the block really quick just to make sure everything was working, but I didn't get to really test it out. All right, it's time. Go test it out. Here you go, camera boy. Where's my... I swear I was fired. Yeah. Yeah, didn't I? God, it smells so bad. That water smells horrible. That was sick. That was so sick. Get out of your moth. God. Dude, there's so many freaking moths. Oh, you stop. stinks so bad oh my god moth go away I'm getting bullied dad help me I'm getting bullied I literally disown him I disown you father editing father you put me right next to all the freaking moths that I keep trying to get in my mouth this is so gay I'm trying to get away yeah look at so many following me I'm so distracted on moths look at them <laughs> Dude, they're legit following me, bro. I'm going back on this side. There's not as many. Dude, they're following me. Bro, I blame you, father. I blame you. I'm gonna walk like this now. I gotta walk like this so they can't get in my mouth. I'm never feeling more molested in my life. I just slapped one. What happened? Yeah, pulled over. There's no way. Where is that at, 
Father, you left me over here with the freaking moths. There's so many moths trying to get inside my mouth. Uh, um, you know, I come to, you know the direction that I come from? Yeah. North. Yeah. Like towards the house? Yeah. Yeah. Father! Yep, definitely disown you after this one. Bro, you should you should have just picked my lonely self up and just took me with you on the second pass. This is this is the first one I didn't get to pass because I never realized you're that far down the road. You told me to go right there. No, I know. I didn't know it was far down the road. Like you did. I didn't get to do it till the top of the bro. Oh, I know. Dude, this is not even the worst of it. I'm, I'm trying to hold the freak. I'm trying to hold the phone and the camera. My pants are falling. I didn't even got my belt. Can you guys see him? He's right there. He almost made it to me. Woo! It says walk. Hopefully, it don't kill me. <laughs> Yay! Look, you see the Tequacha burn marks? Yes, sir. I had to walk a mile, a mile and a half. Yep, definitely disown him. Yeah, I, I checked the uh... I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I learned how to walk a mile. That's a half a mile. Not even. I was passed out. Dude, look. Do you see that sign that we can't even see the face of it? All over there, you can't even see the words on it? Yeah. I looked at that sign. Yeah? Yeah? I was like 30 yeah, feet you were, in You were right there where that bridge is at, which is past that sign. No, it's not. That bridge is past the sign. Nope. Oh, no, you're right there at that bridge. I was not Half at the bridge. Half a mile, bro. There's, dude, you see the moss? So what's going on with the fuel? Yeah, it's way too empty to go anywhere, bro. Oh. I messaged the group chat, I think. I think, um, I think Junior's gonna come. Hey, you know what? We're at a gas station. It's literally being built. Maybe they have fuel. There's a gas station over there if you want to walk. Yeah, but they don't have E85, bro. We're going to be here for a little while, but uh, my cousin is going to be bringing some gas, so Colton's going to roll through. He has E85 at his house, but he's got to go pick it up. So his house to here, I would say, is probably about 20 minutes. I don't know, but what can you do, man? It's what happens whenever you leave and you aren't prepared. Braven, what the hell's wrong with you, dude? You freaking said that you saw the gas can wasn't back there and you thought about it, but you just didn't say nothing. What's up? What's up? It's not my fault. It's your car. <laughs> uh, I'm just a camera boy, remember? On the plus side, like I can I can slam gears like nothing, bro. Like I'm telling you, I think that pedal assembly has been screwed up for a long ass time because um yeah, khaki has never shifted that good. So definitely stoked huge shout out to hush performance they make a quality product but yeah anyhow waiting for him to get here and yeah i'll pick the camera back up whenever either he gets here or whenever we get home oh there she is Full of fucking gas too. Yep. yep. <laughs> it's the next day and I've got fuel in here now. <laughs> I need to remember not to ever leave home without it. Anyhow guys, the, uh, um, the new cable to hydro conversion is working great. But I think I've already mentioned it before, the engagement point for the clutch is now like somewhere mid throw. So now we're running the risk to where we can actually overthrow the pressure plate. Whenever you overthrow the pressure plate, basically um, you're pushing the pedal too far, much further than what you have, than what is actually needed 
to disengage the clutch you know what i'm saying so uh, whenever you overthrow the pressure plate um, you can actually cause damage to your clutch for one and then it can also make it really hard to shift into gear so um, basically i ran down to ace hardware and this is going to be my setup right here i grabbed this it kind of it's basically just a nut bro but it's a really long nut <laughs> there's a meme in that somewhere but uh, imagine that this is going to be welded on to my clutch pedal itself once that's welded on i got a really long bolt that we can screw into it and i also got a jam nut here so imagine basically this being welded on to the clutch pedal and then we can screw this bolt in and then this will be sticking out the back side of the pedal so whenever we push the pedal we will adjust it to where this hits the chassis of the car and it doesn't let the pedal go any further so whenever we find out that length then we can go ahead and cut off cut off whatever excess is sticking out the front and then we'll have a jam nut that we can tighten up against that so it doesn't rattle loose and just move around so then we'll have a bump stop bro and i figured to get this welded on would go see an old friend someone that we haven't seen in a very long time bro so we haven't been down here in quite some time man but i figured i'd bring the car down to paul because who better to get in there and actually weld that damn thing it's a really difficult spot to get into and i just i i trust paul not to burn my car down you know what i'm saying so anyhow check this dude's grom out man he just recently got this this thing is sick as fuck man i would love to get one of these throw it in the comments down below if you guys if any of you guys own a grom and um put in the comments you think i should try to get one because this thing looks like it'd be fun as hell All right, there's our nut welded on to our clutch pedal. I had to grind the paint off right there so that he was actually able to weld it on. So I wanted to put a coat of black over it just to make sure we don't have any rust problems. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a thing here in Arizona. I'm just kidding. Shit don't rust out here unless you leave it like underwater. <laughs> But anyhow guys, that is the hard part done. So now all we have to do is actually find uh, how much throw in which I'm gonna do that as soon as we pick Braven up from school. I also stopped by the PO box and there was a few packages there. So I'm also gonna wait for Braven so we can open these up. Um, I'm actually really excited about this. I don't know what this is, but it's from Speed Factory Racing, dude. I don't know if a subscriber ordered that for me or a Speed Factory themselves sent that to me, dude. But a Speed Factory themselves sent that by all means, man. Hit me up, bro. <laughs> I can most certainly put some parts to use. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're balling on a budget around here. You guys already know. But whenever I was at Paul's, dude, look what he gave me, bro. Like, he just straight up gave this to me. He had it sitting inside of the office. Um, he said he actually had bought a couple of them and they, they installed one on his son's Bronco and he said they have a lot of fun with this. So I was talking to him about the van out there because he hasn't seen that yet and I think that's going to be one of those kind of vehicles that Paul digs. So I mentioned it to him that I need to bring it by so he could check it out someday and he said hell yeah because obviously he's probably seen it on the channel you know what I mean? But yeah he wants to see it but then bringing up the van he told me that I can have this and he wants to see it installed on the van. So I think we at least owe it to him to install it on the vehicle. He would like to see it on, right? I mean, he gave it to us for free, but this is a uh, PA system. And he said it's got like sound effects and shit too. So hell yeah, that should be pretty fun. We'll install that in a future video. Anyhow guys, I'll see you in a little bit after I pick Braven up. Hey there, Braven. Hello. How was school? It was all right. Did you learn anything today? Of course not. Oh, you know what I did learn? What'd you learn? I don't wanna go back. <laughs> Dude, you better knock it off. Don't be a fool, stay in school. School is only for the cool. No, it's not. A kid in school makes the girls drool. <laughs> but yeah, dude, Paul gave me that. For the van. That's dope. Anyhow, guys, so the process here for setting up this bump stop is I have the car up on the jacks. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in the car, start it uh, with the wheels up in the air. I need to go up a little bit more. But with the it, wheels up in the air, and then Braven's going to just kind of hold the tire and let me know when it is he feels that the, the tire is going to start moving. You know what I'm saying? So basically, with the clutch pedal all the way to the floor, in first gear, I'm going to slowly let up on the clutch until Braven tells me that the tire is trying to move and then push back in just a little bit. And that's where we need to set our bump stop up at. Bump stop up at. That's where we need to set our bump stop up at. Bump stop up at. Bump, bump stop up at. Try it. Bump stop up at. <laughs> you couldn't say it once. All right, here we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and screw our bolt in and I'm gonna try to get it around where it is that it seemed like the clutch was moving and then we'll do it again and test it. So, God, I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to push that by hand. I'm gonna have you guys in here with me this time. Start her up. All right, so now I have I have the pedal all the way to the floor to where the bump stop is hitting and it won't let me go any further and I have it in first gear. So I need to let up off my foot just a little bit and he should feel the tires start moving. All right, sick. Hell freaking yeah. All right. All right, so that is where it is we want our bump stop. So anything beyond that is just wasted travel. You know what I'm saying? So this will not only help me shift faster, but it'll also make sure that I'm not overthrowing my pressure plate. All right, so this is not only going to help me shift a lot faster, of course, because we don't have all that wasted throw, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's also going to make sure that I'm not overthrowing my pressure plate, uh, possibly causing damage or making it harder to shift into gears whenever we're shifting at high RPM. So now, basically what we can do is you just screw this jam nut up until it touches and then you tighten that so that then this thing can't move and it will stay in that position bro and um if i want to i can actually mark this right here mark it and then take it out and then cut this bolt off so i don't have that little piece sticking up but i think i want to test drive it first and make sure that is where it is that i want it um and when i'm test driving it i'm gonna see if this even gets in my way of my foot because I, right now when we were testing, I had my foot basically where it is that I always have it and I didn't even feel that sticking up, so. We're gonna go ahead and open up these packages because I wanna open these while Braven's here, of course. And Braven has to be to work in like 30 minutes. So, we don't get to spend very much time with Braven. Because Braven's always at school or work. He's a very busy dude. And whenever he's not at either one of those, he's always just on the phone with his girlfriend. I'm going to open this one because this one's from Speed Factory. And I'm hoping that that one is for me. And this one you said you ordered, right? This is from Enigma Glow? Sick. So this is from Enigma Glow. Um, I didn't know, but I guess Braven actually ordered these. And this is for uh, my daughter's birthday present. So Braven's exactly sister's. What it is. Braven's sister's birthday present. And Braven, you can have the honors of opening up that one. And go. Oof. Bruh! What is up, man? What? Why is there so many papers? <laughs> These are freaking detent springs for the damn transmission. Not only did I need these, but I forgot all about these. This was something that I had on my mind. I was like, I need to order these to see how much of a difference they make. So, dude, huge shout out to whoever it is that sent that to me. I don't, I don't know if a subscriber sent these to me, 
uh, like ordered it from Speed Factory Racing or if Speed Factory themselves sent it to me. I don't know. Um, there's no note. And as far as I know, I don't have a message from anybody saying anything. But yeah, somebody messaged me. Who, who this come from, man? I don't know. Go ahead. What'd you get? I got butt connectors, which are Dude. solder and seal connectors. That's exactly what you needed was butt connectors. That's dope. For connecting butts. <laughs> oh, these are those shrink wrap ones, huh? Yeah. The ones that you... Oh, those are sick, dude. I always wanted to try those. Fuck yeah. Is that a power tools mini? Oh, it's a hot... It's a, the shrink wrap. You like set oh, it up. Oh, hot, uh, hot air gun. Yeah. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. No, it says it right there. Hot, hot air, air gun. gun. That's so dope. Why does that sound wrong though? Hot air gun? Does that sound so right? Use the hot air balloon. No. No. What's the, what's the, there's something else that they're called, but, okay, go ahead. There's something else in there? Oh, what? This is all this stuff for Braven. Dope. Always for Braven. What is this? Some fancy heavy duty stuff. Oh, isn't this for like strippers? wire stripper cutter? Yeah. Oh, 8 to 20 gauge and then 10 to 22. Also, this is for like bigger gauge wire. Yeah. That's dope. freaking dope, dude. Hell freaking yeah. And those are Klein, man. Those aren't cheap. I don't know if you know anything about Klein tools, but when I worked in the, the sign industry, Klein was what all the electricians used. And like those strippers and stuff that I always bought, those, those motherfuckers aren't cheap, bro. That thing right there is probably 60 bucks. Maybe a little less. I don't know, but That's yeah. So They're expensive. Is there oh, something is else only... in there? Yeah, there's one more. There's thing. more shit in there? Oh, it's the um, uh, the wire loom. The single wire loom. Oh. I literally just ran out of this. I was about ready to order more. Like, That's so dope. <laughs> Damn, right, bro. Notes. You know what? Same. I'm going to start making you pay for the P.O. box. <laughs> <laughs> it says, a few more items to make the wire jobs easier for Braven's business. Rug head connections. Why are you mad, bro? Uh, you get it? Why are you mad, bro? From Jonathan Spriggs. Dang, so dude. Good. He's giving you slogans over oh here. Oh, God. The rug head connections with the K. Oh, do they all say the same thing? Yeah, it's because there's four Oh, items. yeah. Sick. That's so dope. What was his name? Jonathan. Jonathan? So huge shout out to Jonathan Spriggs. That sounds familiar. It does. Jonathan Spriggs. I think Jonathan Spriggs ordered merch, and I, I, I think that's where I'd seen it from. Was shipping out merch. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. It sounds familiar to me too. Or it could be Facebook or something. Who knows, man? But shout out to you. Thank you once again uh, for sending stuff out for Brave, and that will definitely help him out tremendously. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, I told you, your punk ass is gonna end with more fucking tools than me. You son of a bitch. Oh yeah, are you gonna open this and yeah. verify? You can open it. You can't tell what it is. We just we just won't say what it is. If it is what it is that you think that it is. Oh. What is this? DDM tuning? Free gift. It says it on there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's probably what you think it is. It's freaking headlights for Hannah's BMW. Yes, it is. Yeah. Raven's sister, my daughter, she got a new car. If you guys didn't know, she actually, she lives with her mom. She don't live here anymore, but she wrecked her Audi, um, unfortunately, but she has gotten a new car since then, which is a BMW, um, and these are headlights for it. And I could say that with confidence in knowing that she'll never see this. Yeah. <laughs> Cause she don't watch the videos. What is this? Oh, paperwork. Shit. Shout out to Enigma Glow. Most certainly go check him out if you guys need anything as far as lighting. But now, this dude's got to get his ass ready for work. And I got to drop him off. So, I think I'm just going to take Khaki to drop him off at work. So, we can test out the bump stop. See how we like it. Or if we hate it. We're either going to like it or we're going to hate it. Right? I hope I love it.
it is, man. I might actually end up cutting that little piece off. I'm not sure yet. Uh, the whole drive to take Braven to work, I, I didn't feel it, but I don't know. It just seems like it's it it's right to cut it off. Yeah, dude, overall, Khaki feels so much better with that bump stop and the cable to hydro conversion. Like, I'm definitely looking forward to this next time that we go out to the track. So, anyhow, I just dropped Braven off at work. Um, I like coming back here to take pictures for Instagram, dude. Uh, I've taken pictures of the sedan, of the van. I think this is the first time I've had khaki back here. But I don't know, for whatever reason, I just like taking pictures against this fucking wall, dude. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm going to snap a couple Instagram pictures really quick. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Um, I'm always posting stuff up there. And uh, I always share whenever the videos go live and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something as far as the bump stop. Um, it's pretty much all we really had going on today. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out, and I'll see you on the next one.